I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the FR Sky DIY transmitter. It's a lot of letters. Isn't I know. It? It's it is crazy. You did really good. I couldn't have done that. Thanks. But yeah, yeah absolutely. We're talking about the FR Sky module and yeah. the DIY kit. Right. Do so, it yourself. Do it yourself. Yep. I'm sure there's a lot of other acronyms, but do it yourself is right. Yes. Very cool. Well, I'll tell you what. My friend David Vindestel took my radio and actually put the DIY module into it. So why don't we bring him in? Okay. All right, because he did a really, really incredible job. David, Hi, David. Vindestel, the genius. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So yeah, um, I put the module in here in your 72 megahertz Futaba radio. Yes. Uh, bring it back to life, so to speak. Yeah. So now, to say. For you guys out there, a lot of flying events nowadays, if I'm not mistaken, are taking 72 out of the picture. They're saying 2.4 only. Like we were just at an indoor event and they said no two point or no 72, only 2.4. Huh. So say you have a, a radio, what did this cost at one time probably? Over a couple hundred, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you, and you're, it's great functionality, yeah. really easy to use, and you're comfortable with it, why get rid of it, right? Exactly, the programming functionality and everything is perfect in this radio, and you can simply bring it back to life by adding the 2.4 DIY kit. Absolutely. But well, why not 72? Why are we getting away from that? Because uh, 2.4 systems scan the frequency band, like they scan the band and see if what's available and transmit on that. So you can simply turn it on and you don't have to worry about shooting someone else down. Yeah, no one likes it when they get their plane shot down. Yeah, that's not a good cool. thing. Not a good thing at all. So yeah, uh, do you want to show how I did it? Like, yeah. The inside, the guts of it? Let's, let's see the guts. Now you already took yeah. the uh, thing off. For you guys out there, we're using a 3-cell 800 uh, LiPo to power this and it works wonderfully. Yeah, it does. It's more powerful than the original battery in there. Yeah, and weighs less, so yes. it's nice. You can see here, I can show you, this is the bind button and the stat status LED, so you can see what's happening, if it's transmitting or not, and everything. So that's on the back there, because you don't actually have to see that all the time, just when you're binding it. You don't want to bump it either. Yeah, that's true. Very cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna take out the back, and take out the crystal. Crystal? Yeah, the 72 megahertz crystal. It's this optimistic. is, yeah, doesn't it? It's like a seance here. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, to change the frequency on the 72 megahertz band, you need to use the crystal. That was a hassle. And there's even additional tuning sometimes you have to do, you even have to put in the crystal in, right? Yeah, it's, it was horrible. This yeah. all sounds fake. <laughs> Honestly, it was there one time. Yeah. All right, J.R. So, Tolkien. Uh, this, I'm gonna show you where the module is. There's well, there the hatch is. module. Oh, it's hiding. Yeah. Nice. Put it on the bottom here so it's out of the way, nice and clean. It had some space in there, so why not? It looks like it was made to fit it. Yeah, it's That's perfect. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, yeah what, two little dabs of glue to hold it in there? Yeah, and a piece of uh, double-sided sticky tape on the bottom too. Very it's cool. not going anywhere. Nice. So yeah, and uh, this is the original 72 megahertz um, transmitter board with the, the built-in module. Um, all you have to do is solder three wires. There's the signal, the positive, and negative. That's all you so, need to solder. So three solders is all you need? Yes. So okay. It's kind of complicated. Is there anything on the worldwide interweb that will show you? Yes, uh, there is. You can simply search Mr. Google. He has the answer. You're going to find other people that probably did your radio. Yeah. If you didn't find it, yeah. don't try it. We were looking around um, YouTube, RC groups, uh, lots and lots of videos on different methods in different ways. Yes. And you actually made this where it'll work on both 72 and 2.4. Yes. Switchable. That's true. I added Genius. a switch here. So you can simply switch it between 72 and 2.4. That's amazing. So you wow. still keep the functionality. So if you're flying out someplace remote, you can still use your 72. Yes. That's Very true. Cool. So you don't have to throw away your old now, systems. You can just add to it. I'm not, I'm not the most up on, on electronics. Could I do this? And yes, you probably could. Uh, as long as you take your time, solder positive to positive, negative to negative, and the signal wire to the signal wire, and you're good. Life is good. Yes. Very cool. There's so what about this there. one? This one's different. You like that? Well, I don't know. Tell it's me about pretty it. darn cool. That's the module. That's the FR Sky module. Now, say you have a, uh, a radio that's probably still really, really great, but you want to add onto it. Uh, for this case, we actually took our wonderful Turnergy 9X 
and this is compatible with the Turner G9X. So, you take out the other module. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, for you guys out there, I did make a mistake on one of our first reviews. You gotta no. cut the wire. I know, hard to believe, huh? Oh, wow. Crazy. You, get. you do have to cut the wire. I actually pulled mine really hard and it pulled out, but um, you do have to cut the wire that goes up to the antenna um, for that. But this just simply pops in, just like that. And now this has an FR Sky module in it. You're yeah. done. That's and you can easy. have different modules too. You can have uh, all kinds of different modules and just yeah. switch between them. Yeah, now this one has telemetry on there. So the, the, the system that Turnergy uses is a wonderful, reliable system. But say you have another one something like this Futaba and you have extra receivers for FR Sky, you want to bring it to this one, you can do that. Yeah. And this is also compatible with what, JR? JR, yes. And then they make one for Futaba. Futaba and Hi-Tech too, I think. Wow, very, very cool. So can yeah. you upgrade any transmitter? Uh, more or less, yes, you can. Oh, like really old ones? I got this one. Oh, from. wow. My pappy gave me this one. Wow. That kind of is as tall as you are. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty darn cool. Yes, you can modify it, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. You want to try it? That'd okay. be a cool challenge for later, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, some other day. Yeah, maybe some other day. Yeah, but that takes too much time. Okay. So, guys, guys, to recap, basically the big benefit is is your favorite 72 megahertz radio that you put a lot of money into. You can now update with 2.4 technology from FR Sky. Have the telemetry. Have all these other nice features that you didn't have before, even on your expensive 22 or 72 megahertz system, and have all the benefits for what 20. Yeah, the, the telemetry was 24 bucks. Okay. You can get without the telemetry for like 16 bucks. 16 bucks. So you can resurrect your 200 plus dollar radio for about 16 to 25 bucks. That's pretty darn cool. Nice. Yeah. Now the receivers, they have different receivers, don't they? Yeah. This one has telemetry, right? Yes, it has. And it's, this is the eight channel one, the okay. nice one. Okay. The biggest one. And uh, about 25 bucks. Yeah, I think it's 25 bucks or thereabout. That's amazing. That's really, really cool. Yeah, it is. Well, for all you out there, don't pitch your 72 megahertz. Don't sell them on eBay for 50 bucks. Upgrade them, enjoy them, use them. Let's put this in a plane and try it. You wanna do it? Yeah. Here, okay. you guys wanna, wanna prove Ooh, that it wow, works. Wow, that's timing. There you go. Wow, yeah. Chad, that was great. Okay, so I'll, <laughs> all right. I'll put this together and you put that thing. All right, sounds good. I'll put okay. this in and you put that together. The Gumby, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool, looks like a trainer. It's cool. All this right. Pokey and Prick will be along later. Okay, the rest of the game. go. Thanks. All right, Cut. another beautiful early winter day. Yes. And windy. I wish we had the anemometer here. That'd be kind of cool. Very. But we're talking <laughs> about radios right now. We got our faithful Gumby that we just got. We're going to put it to the test. <laughs> How can it be faithful? <laughs> we just got it. Well, we have no idea. I'm, I'm optimistic, man. Okay? Jeez. The Gumby will deliver. Okay. Do you believe the Gumby will yeah, deliver? Yeah, I, I, maybe. It's all right, right Josh. This we, isn't a Gumby review. <laughs> that's a good thing. All right, we're going to put the Gumby up in the air. And the one key thing about uh, 2.4 everyone talks about is refresh rate. If it browns out or something happens, how quick it relinks, right? Yeah. Because 72 is like instantaneous, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's an analog system, so yes. Yeah, it's just instantly on or, and, and everything. So that's really cool. We want to see how quick this will refresh. So I'll take it up in the air. David's going to switch it to 72 megahertz. While you're flying? While I'm flying, yeah. I'm gonna- and then back again. Yep, and I'm gonna hold full up. At, once he does, I'm gonna go to full up. And then he's gonna turn it back on, so we'll be able to see how long it takes before it finally gets a signal and goes full up for me. Yep. All right, I sound good? I don't know. You're skeptical, aren't you? I am. He thinks all those wires and just kind of hacking into things is- I just, you're gonna switch it mid-flight. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm not yep. gonna point it towards anyone, though, because that'd be unsafe. That would be. That would be bad. Okay. All right, let's launch me. All right. I'm putting them in there. Uh, yeah. Feels like I'm in Sweden, dude. <laughs> See, now I can say it's a faithful Gumby. Look at that. It's handling that one so beautifully. All right, let's get Gumby around here. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. All right, I'm gonna point her into the wind here. Yeah. Are you ready? And three, two, one, switch me. Yeah. Pull up. Pull on again. That was about what? Two and a half seconds? My heart uh -huh. sunk. Your heart hey, sunk? Let's like do it again. Quarters of a second. Okay, you ready? ready? Off. <laughs> Pull up. Time. That's not even. That's not long at all. Nope. You wouldn't even probably even know. Nope. That's cool. That's a good system. I it's, like that. And Gumpy, Gumpy's good. Yeah. Now you just got to range check it, but not today, don't we? Nope, not today. All right. Well, I'm gonna put it into the wind. Give it to my friend Josh because I think it's a beginner plane. It's windy, but my jo friend Josh is doing good. My Josh. Yeah, you, Josh. That's my Josh. All right, there you go. Thank you. All right. Well, friends, I want to thank you for watching. The FR Sky module or the DIY kit's phenomenal. I strongly suggest if you guys want to uh, to take your old radio that you spent a lot of money on and, and resurrect it again, go for it. Uh, anywhere from, what, 16 to 26 bucks, it's the bomb. Yeah. Do it. Do it. How many solder joints? 
Three. Three. Three solder joints. Yeah. We want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. And once again, uh, thank you for subscribing and keeping up on the forums. Uh, please continue to do so. And uh, I want to get another battery so we can fly when he's done. Yeah. All right. See you next time. This is a fantasy racer, but it's been widely adopted as what people would probably dream the next GB to be, like maybe Hot Wheels designed or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's beautiful, good. too. The, the lines and the way it looks and also the way it handles is amazing. Really? It's got a massive rudder on yeah, it. Yeah. Isn't that such a crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Knife edge. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm.